Hey everybody, this is Brian, and this is our 17th video. Today we're going to be discussing by value and by reference. What do I mean by that? Well, if you've been playing around with your own code on the side, and just let's just make a little test function here. Uh, we'll say int number simple function, and what we're going to do here is we're going to say cout number and L. Then we're going to increment that number. See out number and L. So all we're doing here is we're actually just incrementing a value. And then we want to pass this value over here. So let's say int my num equal one test and we're going to pass it my num. Whoops, can't spell today. And let's just copy and paste that here. So, as you can see, what this is supposed to do is you have a number, one, you're passing it to a function. This function just simply increments it, and then you're putting it through the output. What do you think is going to happen here? Well, if you've done this before, you know the answer, but I'm also going to show you the solution. Let's run this. Starts at 1, it's incremented to 2, but then suddenly it's magically back at 1. What's going on here? Well, let's put a little extra information in here just to clarify it. Step 3. We'll say this is uh, step 1, step 2. So we make our variable, we pass it to our test function, and then it goes through step one. It's incremented, step two, and then finally printed step three. Run that again. I want you to really understand the structure of this very simple program. Step one, step two, step three. So you can see at step three, it somehow reverts back to the first value right here. Well, what's going on here? Well, there's this little thing called by value and by reference. And what that means is when we pass this variable to this function, we're passing by value, meaning the actual value is passed here. So this is the equivalent of saying number equal one. So under the hood, what C++ is doing, it's taking that number and making a new variable called number. That new variable is a copy of my num. It's not the same variable. It's a copy. So now you have two variables in memory, both of them equal one. You're incrementing this variable, and then your variable goes out of what's called scope. This is scope right here. This block of code, this variable only exists in this block of code. For example, if you go to do a C out, say step four, you try to print that number out, well, it explodes and says, eh, we don't know what that is. And when I say we, I mean the compiler because it has multiple personalities, but that's beside the point. So that scope, now that you understand that that variable only exists in this scope, you understand now that because it's a copy of this variable, it doesn't exist anymore. So in, in essence, what you're doing is you're saying my num, and then you're creating a copy of it for this scope. And then when you jump back down to here, you're grabbing this original copy. Now, what you want to do is add the ampersand. That's called passing by reference. You're no longer passing a value. You're passing an address in memory. I'm just going to type some gibberish here. That wasn't even a valid number, but you know what I mean. So you're passing a memory address is what you're essentially doing here. So instead of passing a value, you're passing a memory address under the hood. So what C++ does is says, okay, this variable is the same address as this variable. Let's run this and see if we have different results here. Sure enough, step one, step two. Step three, you can see the value is incremented and stays incremented. Remember step three is when we jumped back out of the scope from this function. 
So let's go through this one more time. I understand this is a confusing concept here. You create a variable called myNum. You initialize it to 1. You pass it to this function. This function is calling by reference, meaning this is the address of operator. It's saying, give me your address. Where are you located in memory? So the compiler says, OK, myNum is located at in whatever memory address it is. And then we're saying, OK, that variable, increment it, dump it back into memory, and then exit out of here. Then when it comes back down to here, it just simply references the same spot in memory. That's how by reference and by value work. Um, I understand this is kind of a confusing topic because we are now discussing memory. But it's an important topic for you to understand how this works. So you're going to have some really, really weird results. I mean, once again, if you just simply pass it by value and you try to run it, you'll be scratching your head going, well, why didn't it increment? Well, that's because you've made a copy of that variable rather than referencing the actual address. So this is Brian. We talked about by value and by reference. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining. Thank you for watching.